What's up? Today we got Thurman's Season 2 Episode 21 Call of Lunch Duty. This uh, this episode this episode starts off at Hinville High, where Phoebe is is saying says Phoebe Thunderman's jur journalism class topic, chewing gum habits in a, in a typical suburban high school. Then she scrapes gum that lands on that lands on Winnie Lee. Remember her from Parents Don't Understand? Yeah, she's back. Didn't expect her to come back because she's not that interesting of a character to bring back. But yeah, Winnie Lee's back and she said and Winnie Lee says did Phoebe just scrape gum on her? She says she would never do that. It's someone else's gum. And Phoebe takes it off Winnie and puts it in her bag. Phoebe says she's doing a fascinating article on gum chewing. And Winnie says by fasting, do you mean gross? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> Phoebe asks for Winnie's gum, and Winnie says, don't take this personally, but no, and leaves. Mac, Mac shows. Phoebe says she's starting to think this project was a this, this, I, this project was a bad idea. Then Mac shows up saying. Here's gum for your stupid gum project. Yeah. Yeah. Phoebe, Max gives Phoebe asks Max his help with a new story for journalism class. If her article gets on the cover of the school newspaper, it's a guaranteed A. Max says he's got a perfect headline. Handsome brother walks away. <laughs> I love Max. That's what I forgot to say in the last episode because again there was no I love Max moment. But they know when to bring it back. They do. And yeah. Max, Max says, Hey, the Rebel Raptor struck again. Who was ever making these has really captured Bradford's stink line. Principal Bradford says, Stop laughing. He's sick of these posters. This has been going on for weeks. Max says, but, and then he said, then he's, then everyone disperses to reveal Max. He's like, you. And then Max is like, um, before you accuse him, just know he was home all the time. Ask Phoebe. And then we get a flashback of Phoebe on the janitor, Phoebe on the phone with, with the janitors of America. Be about Phoebe talking to them, trying to get to them to talk about her school project about gum chewing. About scraped gum. Because, of course, Phoebe would be trying to get to the janitors of America. Phoebe is boring. Of course. Max says... But Phoebe says it's true, Prince of Bradford. Max is home all night while she worked on her article. Because, yeah. Bradford says, he doesn't care when he, he isn't, he doesn't care. When he captures the rebel raptor, they're going to get the worst punishment of all. Max says, being principal for a day. <laughs> Again, I love Max. Principal Bradford's like, yeah, no. He'll just make them the school's new lunch. He'll make them work the lunch line. Phoebe says, the rebel raptor. That's a perfect article. If she can find out who he is, she'll get the cover and the end. As I was saying, this is this is kind of where the plot of the episode kind of like ruins itself. Phoebe doesn't suspect Max of being the Rebel Raptor. Like what? Like she knows that Max likes to prank Bradford. Bradford can't stand Max. So the fact is that she's like, oh, I wonder who the Rebel Raptor is. We learn it's Max. Like, there's no, there's no, but Phoebe acts so surprised about this. Like, she, uh, that just ruins it. The fact is that she doesn't think, oh, hmm, the Rebel Raptor is prank, Max, the Rebel Raptor is pranking Bradford. Max doesn't like Bradford. 
hmm, isn't there a coloration? But no, she's just like, oh, I wonder who this rope raptor is. It, that, it can't be Max because he the, has the only reason. Like, this episode is so, not boring, but it's just so, like, the B plot's boring, but the A plot should be interesting. It's not interesting until it actually is interesting. But but the fact is that Phoebe doesn't think just Max, when Max is the only, and Max presents, oh, well, I wonder who the Rebel Raptor is. But it's just like, bro, we know it's you. Like, we know from from the moment that we see the poster that it has to be Max. Because Max has no reason to not prank Bradford. But anyway. But anyway. Phoebe's like. Yeah. Phoebe's like, I wonder who the Rebel Raptor is. That. If she can find out who it is, it'll get her her cover and her A. Again, she she should know this by now. This girl is meant to be the smartest character on the show. But she's acting more dumber than Billy. And and that's the understatement when you can call the smartest character on the show is acting more dumber than dumb Billy. Because she should know who the Rebel Raptor is. I know who the Rebel Raptor is, and I watched this episode. But Phoebe's like, oh, I wonder who the Rebel Raptor is. Only if I can find out who the Rebel Raptor is. No crap, it's Max. We all know it. Like, he likes pranking Bradford. Bradford can't stand Max. It's it's so obvious that it's him. But Phoebe doesn't know this, and later is shocked when she finds out it's... Of course she finds out it's him, and she's like, how can he be the Rebel Raptor? Like... Girl, are you not smart? Like, what happened to Phoebe during this episode? It's like they were like, yeah, let's make her completely dumb to everything going on so we can have a plot. Because Phoebe's not usually that dumb. Anyway. Or, or stupid, or whatever you say. She's not... She, anyway. Yeah. Bradford says he better not see one of these posters of him. Then we see that there's a poster of him on his back. After the opening, in the A plot... Max asks Phoebe her Rebel Raptor search is going. Phoebe says she made a list of everyone at school who's with the skills to pull off these stunts. And some of them here. Again, how could she not know it's Max? Like, like, yeah. And, and Max says all there is is Gideon. And, and Gideon's only there because he thinks he's on that. He's just on, he and Phoebe are on a date. Despite, one, Phoebe having a boyfriend. I don't know why Phoebe doesn't tell him that she has a boyfriend by now. She just tells him no, that they're not on a date, and tells him to get out. She doesn't even mention Link at all. Like, I know Link's in the next episode, but, but still. Yeah, Gideon leaves. Max says, Max says, he doesn't, he doesn't know how she's gonna, how she's gonna find this, who this guy is. Max, we know it's you. Stop pretending. Like, like this whole episode's A plot premise is kind of convoluted. That the whole, oh, Phoebe can't figure out it's Max. Max is the only one who likes pranking Bradford. Even if I never known, never known who the Rebel Raptor is, I think it's Max because it's obvious. It's obviously him. But no, we have to have a premise where Phoebe doesn't. No, and then she finds out, but she's so confused, and like, how can he be the Rebel Raptor? Like, girl, Phoebe, Phoebe's dumb in this episode. That's the most aggravating part about this episode, is that Phoebe's written really dumbly just for a plot. Like, normally Phoebe could do that Max is the Rebel Raptor by figuring out, being like, oh, Max likes pranking Bradford. Brad, Rebel Raptor pranks Bradford. They have to be the same person, but... No, she just doesn't know it's Max, and is when she finds out it's Max, she can is is bewildered and confused why he's the Rebel Raptor. Like this, the writers really didn't like Phoebe this episode. They're like, yeah, let's write her as dumb as possible for the for the plot, because it's so dumb that she is dumb and that she can't figure out that Max is the Rebel Raptor. I could figure out that Max is the Rebel Raptor, and I'm not even on the show. I'm just a reviewer who reviews the show. And I can still figure out that Max is the Rebel Raptor. But. <clears throat> now Ma Max. Max tells her to give up. But Phoebe's like. Phoebe says. No. 
says that you don't get A's by giving up. You work hard. It's not like the Rebel Rapper is going to contact her. Guess what? He does. They're using that joke again where they're like, oh, something's not going to happen. And then guess what? It happens. Like, why is he using that joke recently in season two? Like, it's super weird that they're like, oh, Barb's not going to come home. Bam, Barb comes home. Oh, Hank's not coming come home. Oh, Hank comes home. Oh, hey, the Rebel Raptor's not going to contact her. Oh, yeah, the Rebel Raptor contacts her. They keep reusing that joke. It's really strange. Season 2 is really strange and really weird of using the same joke of, oh, the Rebel Raptor isn't going to contact Phoebe, but then it does. It's really weird. I know, I know we only have, like, three more episodes of this season left, which... The last or four, if you count Hero is Born as two parter, or if you count as one episode three, but secondly, four, if you count it as a two parter, I'll be definitely releasing it part by part and then putting it together into one video, like I did with the Hunted Thunderman. But, yeah, just saying is that yeah, the Rebel Raptor, yeah, Phoebe's. Phoebe contacts, Rebel Raptor contacts her and all her hard work paid off. Max says she didn't do anything. And Phoebe says she doesn't have the time to explain journalism to him. The Rebel Raptor says he wants to do an interview, but she has to keep his identity a secret. Of course. But Phoebe can't tell it's Max. Okay, I'm not gonna. My anger, there's a lot of things that, a lot of things I have to nitpick in the B plot of this episode. But I'm going to save my nitpicking for that because there's a lot of things I have to nitpick about. Okay. Rebel Raptor said, I'm just going to stick to the show. No no more Max or Rebel Raptor or me getting angry that Phoebe is a dumb. Meanwhile, the Rebel Raptor wants to tell her a story, but she has to keep his identity a secret. Phoebe says, deal. And Gideon tries to get chocolates to change her mind, but Phoebe says, no. Then Gideon says it's Barb home because get, yeah, I guess what this guy's a pervert and he wants to he wants to sleep with Phoebe's mom, which is gross, and he's like sixteen, he's like fifteen, so it's kinda messed up. But anyway, Phoebe says tells him to get out and Gideon leaves. Meanwhile on the B plot Meanwhile on the B plot, Billy and Nora are watching a video about aliens. Yep, here comes nitpicking time. Here comes nitpicking B plot time. Billy and Nora is Freak out thinking they're an alien, and Barb tells them to watch, stop watching aliens because aliens don't exist. Okay, now time for nitpicking picking time. Um, Barb, are you totally forgetting that you literally fought alien to use the Eiffel Tower to stop an alien invasion? Yeah, yeah, this B plot is literally terrible. Like, it's like, oh yeah, let's have it so Barb doesn't remember, remember like, and who's her mommy? She told Billy Nor. she told the entire family that she used. She used the Eiffel Tower to stop an alien invasion. But now she's saying, oh, they don't exist. Like, stop lying to me, Barb. First you tell me one thing about them existing, and now now you're saying they don't. <clears throat> oh, Barb. I know it's the writer's fault for creating a big plot hole where they said, oh, yeah, by the way, Barb fought an alien invasion. Stop an alien invasion. But now she's saying that they don't. Yeah, this is a lot of nitpicking time. It's just like, it's just like, this is, I know the whole alien thing is what the B-plot merits on, but it's just really weird that they set, set this up in episode 16 just to just drop it now. Barb fought an alien. She fought, she fought aliens. But now for some reason she's saying aliens don't exist. But okay, Barb. Okay. Aliens don't exist. Well, let's pretend like what you said in Who's Your Mommy didn't happen. Because I believed you. I believed you, Barb. Yeah. Yeah, so aliens apparently don't exist now. Apparently now. Even though Barb said pr earlier, previously, and previously, on the Thunderman's episode 16, she said that, they, that she fought an alien during an Eiffel Tower. But now apparently they don't exist. So... That's either a plot hole or the writers are just forgot. Well, if they can, if they can make Phoebe dumb in this episode, then they make Barb dumb too. Meanwhile, Hank says, Hank says, Barb, it's just a little harmless fun. What's the worst that can happen? Then they start trying to rip their faces off. Like, then, 
Hank says, Barb's right. There's no such thing as aliens. Again, excuse me, Hank. You were there when Barb told you told them that you were there in the pool when Barb told them that she found aliens with an Eiffel Tower. But now you're saying they don't exist? What is going on in this episode? This episode's having a lot of problems with me. What is going on? Like this episode's having a lot I'm having a lot of issues with this episode. I don't know why. Hank says, Have they ever heard of the trooper Carbra? But Barb stops him, saying, Hank. And Barb says, no more ripping each other's faces off. And they leave. Nora says, they may not be aliens, but he knows who, but he, Bailey may not be alien, but he knows who, do, who, who he is. The guy who sells pretzels at the mall. Remember the mall? And Bailey says, it's true. Let's see what's under that hat. Billy speeds off and speeds back, saying he's hiding hair. Meanwhile, in the A-plot, we see Peggy Carter, I mean, Phoebe. Yeah, I had to put that. <laughs> if you see it, you have, if you see it, literally, Phoebe literally looks like she's ripping off Peggy Carter. We see Peggy Carter, I mean, I mean, Phoebe, sneaking around. Phoebe contacts the Robo Raptor and says, and the Robo Raptor says, why is she dressed like a black and, black and white movie? Phoebe says she got everything, you know, and she, and she says, can you tell me his identity? And he says, his identity is a secret. Then we hear Barb saying, why is it so dark in here? Ultimately revealing that Max is the Rebel Raptor. Who could have stopped? I did, but this show's too dumb, so they literally had to hide it until here. This show, this episode's probably dumb. Yep. Yeah. Even Barb has, yeah, yeah. Why is there this brain joke? Like Phoebe, even Barb asks why Phoebe's that. Barb asks why Ma why Phoebe's dressed up as a black and white movie. Meanwhile, Max is later. Phoebe is asking, is questioning Max on why, how he can even be the Rebel Raptor. Girl, girl, come on, Phoebe. You you are dumb. You are dumb this episode. Really, you cannot. You're like, why is he the Rebel Raptor? Like, what? Like, how can you not know? Like, like, how can you not know? Like, Max and Rebel Raptor like Frankie Bradford. That is the main thing. So you are like, how is Max the Rebel Raptor? Like, like, what is this? Like, what is this episode? <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. This episode may be too aggravating for me to review, but I'm just going to review it because... I have to do it. It's uh, again. This 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 episode's just just making me mad. I don't want to be bad at Thunderbirds, but this episode is just too full of too mo too many moments to, that scratched my head. Like, why doesn't now? Why does Barb believe? Why does Barb believe aliens exist now? When earlier she said that they that she fought some. Why does Phoebe know? Why does Phoebe not know that Max is the Rebel Raptor when she'd seen him? When she'd seen him earlier pranking Bradford, this episode has too many weird, weird, dumb moment plot holes. Like, anyway, yeah, yeah. She said, "She says, how could he be the Rebel Raptor? She saw him, and Max says." Did she? Then she reveals that the Max she thought she saw when she was, when she was, when she was t talking on the phone with with the Amer Janitors Association or the Amer Janitors of America was actually a standee controlled by Colossus. Colossus says he's not the only dummy. Yes, I agree with Colossus. Phoebe's real dumb this episode. Oh, I know. Actually, no. He actually means that Max switched himself out with his Sandy again. Then the Rumax shows up, and Max says, Phoebe can't tell anyone he's the rebel raptor. Bradford will make him work the lunch line and wear a hair net. She can't, he can't cage, she can't cage his mane. He says, she'll, fine, she'll keep, give him her word. And Super does always keep the word, but she wants her, wants her A. Max is going to give her an exclusive photo with the Rebel Raptor before his next poster goes up. And Max says she'll blur out his face. And Phoebe says that's what she says with all of his pictures. Max says 
He'll do it. And Phoebe says, first question is, but then she turns around and sees that Max replaced himself with Standy instead. Max says he was just, keep going. He was just gonna, gonna he was just getting a sandwich. Meanwhile, in the B-plot, Billy and Nora are stargazing, and Nora asks Billy if he sees some aliens. Billy says, Ah, ah, a flying saucer that looks like the moon. Nora says, That is, that is the moon, Galileo. Rem remember, wait, just wait when Nora becomes a nicer, per nicer character next season. Yeah, well, just, no, just wait. Nora will become nicer. Weirdly, but... Just wait. Nora will become nicer. I'm waiting for when Nora becomes nicer because I kind of am tired of this Nora thing. Billy says at least he's trying to find aliens. All Nora did was make a tuna casserole. Wait. Yep. This joke will become a joke later. This will become a running gag later on. Nora. Nora says that that's alien bait. They like human brains, so she made some food, some noodles, and white calf food. Billy spits it out, saying, Noodle, ew, noodle. And they hear Screechy singing. Nora says, Mrs. W they see Mrs. Wong, which, again, this, again, every time, every time I dislike an, starting to dislike an episode, Mrs. Wong is here to make it better. Yeah. Every time I'm starting to dislike an episode, they know they had to grill me in by bringing in a Mrs. Wong cameo. Yeah, we see Mrs. Wong dressed up like an alien for some reason in her own house. So this gives Nora and Billy the idea to 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 Mrs. Mrs. Wong is an alien and she saw them. They say Nora says run and Billy speeds in, and Nora says, "Why was she the one with the laser eyes?" Which is a kind of joke that literally she's now regretting. Why was she given? Why was Billy given speed and she's the one that was given laser eyes? That's kind of funny, a joke. Bill Billy tells Hank and Barb that they saw an alien, but of course Hank and Barb don't believe them. And Nora says, and Barb says, "Whose hair did you rip out now?" And Nora says, "They may have been wrong about Pretzel Pete, but they're right about Mrs. Wong." And then Hank says, "Hank says." She may be, she may have been, she may have no human emotion, but that doesn't make her an alien. Again, Hank, I don't, I don't, I love Mrs. Wong. At least this is better than the last episode, Hank, where he was just an egotistical guy. But, but still. But, but don't make fun of Mrs. Wong. She's my favorite character. She's the only character besides next season character that I actually like. And Max. And next season character. Which, which, which I'll get to when we get to next season, but. Which I'll reveal the name of when we get to next season. Who my favorite characters of next season. But I'm just saying. Besides Max and Mrs. Wong. And next season three season three character. I I like Mrs. Wong. Besides Max. And season three character. I like Mrs. Wong. She's funny. And she's, only, and she's the only person on this show. That actually make me laugh every time I see her. And this is her last, yeah, so, by the way, this is Mrs. Wong's final appearance in season two. She doesn't appear again until season three, where she becomes, I guess, the owner of Splatburger, replacing JJ. So, yeah, next episode, we don't see JJ ever again, and Mrs. Wong goes on to re replace him as, as the old ma manager of Splatburger. I don't know why they got rid of JJ, actor, maybe he wasn't good enough, maybe they just needed to, maybe they realized that Mrs. Wong was a better character than him. So, yeah. Next episode, we see the last appearance of JJ, and then in season three, we see the start of the Mrs. Wong owning Splash Burger for the entire show. Which is great, because I just love Mrs. Wong, and to see more of her, which is kind of funny that Mrs. Wong actually doesn't make an appearance until season three, episode 10. In a, in a B plot. But anyway. So. But Billy says, but she has a huge bug-eyed head. And Barb says, now they're just being mean. No more alien talk, and that's final. Hank says he's going to have a, some delicious of the Barb... Of Barb delicious tuna noodle casserole Barb made. Barb says she didn't make one, and guess what? Running joke time. Yep, this becomes a running joke that Barb thinks... That Hank thinks the tuna casserole that Nora made 
Barb made it, and Barb, even though Barb says she didn't make it, Hank continues to say that she did, so. Welcome to their running joke of the episode. is isn't funny, but it's okay. In the, meanwhile, in the A-plot, Max asks Phoebe if he's gonna get her cover story. Phoebe says, yeah, if he got a cover story. Phoebe says, yeah, and she got her A. Max says, Max says, that's so great. Now he's gonna, Phoebe says, Phoebe says, yeah, and she got her A. Isn't this so great? And Max says, no, he's so great. Check out the le attractive copycat. He remembers his first act of vandalism. Whitney Lee says, Phoebe's article was amazing, and that raptor, rebel raptor is a bad boy. He, was he cute? Phoebe says, he certainly thinks so. And Whitney Lee says, can Phoebe give them all the details when she sits with them tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Phoebe says definitely, and and Phoebe says this could be the day that this day could not get better. Then Bradford asks the rebel raptors, and Phoebe says, "But it could get worse." Phoebe says, "The truth is, she can't tell him because it because it would break the promise to her sort." Bradford says he's impressed with integrity. She says, "Really?" And he says, "No." <laughs> I just love Bradford sometimes. Either she tells him who the rebel raptor is, or he'll make her the, the new lunch lady. Phoebe says, he's bluffing. Then cut to Phoebe in the lunchroom. Yeah, I use that as the background. Cut to Phoebe in the lunchroom, and Phoebe says, he can stop bluffing now. And yeah, Principal Raptor is putting on... Yeah, we cut to Phoebe in a lunch lady outfit with a mole, and Bradford puts on a hairnet, and Phoebe says, okay, he can stop bluffing now. And that's how we got that scene for the background of the video. That's how we got this scene for the background of the video. Then it hit with a high. Phoebe is serving lunch when Wing Lee says she'll have the salad. Then Phoebe says she guesses this is the salad. Yeah. So Phoebe is serving lunch when Winnie shows up and says she'll have the salad. And Phoebe says she'll get the salad. So she... I guess this is the salad. And Phoebe says, she guesses, when he guesses that they won't have lunch together, Phoebe says, she could go over there and she could flip over a mop. They could come over here and she could flip over a mop bucket. Uh, she heard what she said and tells Winnie to enjoy her her life. Max shows up and Phoebe thinks Max going to make fun of her. And Max says, he's not going to make fun of her. He's here to thank her for keeping her word. And now that he's done with that, What's living on her face? Phoebe says, it's a mole. Glad, aren't you glad this, aren't you glad, aren't you glad this said, wait. Aren't you glad this says that, aren't you glad this says that, says that, says that, says that, says that you sprout one when you put on the apron. Aren't you glad this says, they are sisters of the mole. Bradford says, Gladys, the students are rebelling. Look at what they did to him. And Gladys says, You are garbage face. Principal Bradford says, tells Phoebe to tell him who the rebel raptor is. Phoebe says, No. So Bradford says, says then she gets to keep her job, making 500 hot dogs by the end of the day. Phoebe says, Show Miss Fifth Period. And Bradford says, Oh, is that when she takes a class at the history of do what he says and leaves? Yeah. Max finds it suspicious on why Bradford needs 500 hot dogs. Phoebe thinks he has a second stomach and Max says, uh, Max says, if, if they find out what Bradford's up to, Phoebe can get out, then he, Phoebe can use that to get out of the lunch line. So they team up. Meanwhile, in the B plot, Bill, Nora and Billy are very fearful of aliens. Meanwhile, Hank and Barb are going on the run. When when Barb asks Mrs. Wong what she's doing there, M Mrs. Wong says she's trying a new alien themed restaurant for her re alien theme for her restaurant. This is you UFO so good. Pizza! So I'm still able to do my good Mrs. Wong impression. 
She came to do a taste test and wants her kids to taste it if it's good pizza. She wants her to do a taste test if her kids tell her if it's good pizza or it's something they cook. <laughs> I love Mrs. Wong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hank says how Barb made a tuna casserole. Barb, of course, says she didn't make it and... Yep. So, yeah, so, so Hank and Barb tell Billy and Nora how they love aliens, and they leave. Barb says, Mrs. Wong says, they love aliens? Then I can try my new alien uniform. And she leaves. So, so Billy and Nora, Nora locks all the doors and says, all the doors are locked. So no one can get back in. But Billy, but Billy thinking that... He locks some more. Accidentally unlocks all the doors, and Mrs. Wong knocks on the door. Billy tells her to come in, and Nora says, and Nora says, and, and Mrs. Oh, okay. And Mrs. Wong says, "Welcome to 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 my restaurant. This is the Third Encounters of the Hello Earthlings. Welcome to Third Encounters of the One Kind." And they do. So they just say, so they scream and run away. And Mrs. Wong's like, what just happened? She, she didn't say that, but. Meanwhile, meanwhile, meanwhile in the A-plot, Max sneaks in and Phoebe snuck back in so she could follow those hawk dogs and see what Blaster was up to. She says that Max must have snuck back in to help her. Max says, no, he didn't. If he says, "Yeah, you did," so yeah, so yeah, so the so they disco so yeah, so they discover that the school holds a wrestling night where Bradford wrestles, and Max says, "This is his life out." Max Bradford's life out of school is inside the school, so yeah. So Max and Phoebe decide to team up. To Max decides to put on a wrestling wrestling outfit to to te to beat Bradford. To unmask Bradford. Yeah. Max eventually loses until Phoebe shows up. So yeah. Meanwhile in the B plot. plot Nora and Billy are hiding from Alien Wong. And Nora Billy wants to sacrifice himself. And Nora says she, says she has a better idea. Let's throw their tip well hat to her. And laser her. But that's when Hank and Barb come up and say what is going on. What is going on. And they say Mrs. Wong is an alien. And they say Mrs. Wong is an alien. She's wanted to show off her new alien themed restaurant pizza. And then Hank said, and then and then they're like, then what? What was that weird thing that we heard? And then Nor then Mrs. Wong says, what? Her just screech. Her jet. That was her singing. Ah, ah. Actually, I don't know how to do it. But anyway. And then Hank makes another joke about Bar about him saying he's gonna try Barb's casserole, and Barb says she did make a casserole, and that's the last we see of Mrs. Wong till season three. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, on the a plot, Max is losing, so Phoebe comes in to save him, and they def and they win the championship belt. Max, he says, who are these new champions? Max says, he's the Rebel Raptor. And then Max says, and then, Ma and then Bradford's like, I knew it. Yeah, we all knew it, Bradford. Except for Phoebe, because she's dumb. Then Phoebe says, she's the Lunchador. And then Phoebe threatens to put this picture of Bradford as principal pain on the, on the internet, unless he takes her off the lunch line. Principal Bradford says he does it, and he says, Fine, I hate your family, and leaves. So yeah. Then Max and Fee, then they get the championship belt, and at the and the episode ends with Max and Phoebe fighting over which one of them will have it. Ten the episode. Okay, that's that's Call of Launch Duty. It's not one of my. This has to be one of my least favorite episodes. The B plot is very is very inconsistent, and and the A plot is, it's just 
it's okay, but Phoebe not knowing who the, not knowing that Max is Re Rebel Raptor and being shocked, being shocked when she finds out it's him and saying how could it be him, it's it's just very inconsistent. That's the episode. Call of One Shoot isn't bad episode, but it's just inconsistent. Like, like Phoebe should know that Max likes Frank and Bradford. Then that could be. Then that should have put it together that hmm, Max is bringing Bradford, and so is Rebel Raptor. That would that that would obviously be my thing if I was on the show. I'd be like hmm, if I was in Hinville and I saw Max bringing Rebel, if I saw Max bringing Bradford, and then Rebel Raptor came in and started doing start bringing Bradford, I'd say hmm, don't those don't Max and the Rebel Raptor kind of have the same M O with both Pranky Bradford? But no. They had to turn Phoebe dumb for some reason, so she so she could be shocked that Max is the Rebel Raptor. I did like the whole joke with the standy thing of Max tr pranking, tricking Phoebe, but that never gets brought up again. That never gets brought up again. That never gets brought up again, which is weird. The people plot is inconsistent as crap. Barb not believing in aliens, despite her say, previously stating that she fought them. Mrs. Wong, this is the last time we see Mrs. Wong in her. This is the last time that we see Mrs. Wong in her in her Wong's Pizza Palace outfit. Because the next time we see her, she she's taking over Splatburger. So the well, next time we'll see her, we'll see her in a Splatburger outfit. So yeah, this is the last time we see her with that outfit, which is which was. It's just really weird. I don't know why they made Mrs. Apparently, Mrs. Wong's whole plan is to control all of, to buy all of the. All, according to season three, Mrs. Wong's plan is to buy all of the restaurants in Hiddenville, and, but so she had a restaurant that now she has Black Burger, yeah. In season three. Don't know why JJ left the show. And we'll never know. Just like how we'll never know why Angus left the show. And speaking of Angus. Next episode we get introduced to Max's new. Max's new drummer. Wolfgang. Who is a funny character. And yeah. And he's played by an actor from Ohio. Who I still confuse. How was able to use the. The German accent. But anyway. But yeah, so next episode is about Max about F Max using Phoebe and Link's secrets as as inspirations for his new song, which obviously puts a strain on Phoebe and Link. And Max gets a new drummer. Yeah, there's also a B plot about Cla about Billy and Nora and Hank and Barb trying to be nice to Classo, but but eventually, of course, by the end of the episode. Uh, of course, they eventually decide to not be me. They go back to being mean to him, and that's how he likes it. But... But yeah, I'm just saying. Is that at least we get a new character who becomes a mainstay in the next episode. Wolfgang. Who, can, who appears in every episode. And who appears in every season after this. Including the Thunderman's movie. Even though this actor is currently on Grey's Anatomy, and I don't know... How he was able to do the Thurman's movie and Grey's Anatomy at the same time. Yeah. But still. Next episode we get introduced to Wolfga Wolfgang. I don't know if it's the same Wolfgang that Max mentioned in pre Choir. Max never mentions this. If he's the same Wolfgang that owns rhinos that Max was going to use on Veronica in pre Choir. Choir. Max never mentions that. And it's never mentioned what really happened to Angus. In the show or in real life on why he just randomly left the show. And it's not even mentioned why he left the band. It's just, just he's just gone now. And Max said that Wolfgang is the one they've been looking for. But never, it's never explained why Angus just randomly left. So, yeah. New band member next episode and a kind of breakup between Phoebe and Link. Or Phoebe. Or Link Eby. Yeah, their names don't go together as Phoebe says in the episode. But anyway, 
that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time for One Hit Th I'll see you next time for One Hit Thunder. Hopefully it's better than this episode, because at least... Hopefully it's better than this episode.